Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Psalm 50 verse 15 reads, Call on me when you are in trouble and I will rescue you and you will give me glory. If this is your first time to my channel, please be sure to share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so that you will be notified of future teachings. Thank you for helping us share the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Psalm 91.10 says, and I will be reading from the New Living Translation, and I'll give you a few moments to get there. And it reads, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home. Today's teaching, COVID-19, kiss my grits. Five tips that will give you peace. So many people, including Christians, are struggling and in fear because of the confusing information coming from the media, the CDC, the politicians, and even spiritual leaders about this virus. Wear a mask or don't wear a mask because it will not protect you. Faulty positive test results, manipulation in the number of COVID cases. Is the vaccine going to be mandatory? Is it the mark of the beast? 1 Corinthians 14 at verse 10 reads, and I'll wait for you to get there. And it says, there are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. So whose voices are you listening to? Because whatever and whomever you are listening to has significance and will get into your heart and affect your life. The Bible tells us at Proverbs 4, verse 23, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. So much irrational hate being spewed every day from the mouths of the media, politicians, and even some of the pulpits. The only voice you need to hear today is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, only believe on him. So whose voices are you believing? Satan is the author of confusion and fear is faith in Satan. So where is your faith? I am going to give you five tips to help you strengthen your faith and give you peace during COVID-19. Tip number one, repent for your disobedience, your unbelief, for not trusting God. So you can open up the communication again with him and he will hear you. Now let's go to Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. And I'll wait for you. And it reads, listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. It's your sins that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away and will not listen anymore. Ask Jesus to forgive you for your unbelief, for not trusting him, and to close any door of the enemy you may have opened while in unbelief. Tell him the joy of the Lord is your strength and that you are leaning on his strength in this dark hour. Remind him of his word, that he will never leave you or forsake you. Then just praise him and thank him for his goodness and his mercies. Put on some worship music and dance before the Lord, like David did. Tip number two, pray without ceasing. Jesus is our intercessor, and prayer is just talking to God. I am reminded of when Jesus prayed for Simon Peter. Let's turn our Bibles now to Luke 22, verse 31. And we're going to read through to verse 33. And it reads, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you, each of you, like wheat. But I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith, should not fail. So when you have repented and turned to me again, strengthen your brothers. Satan was demanding that Jesus give him Peter's soul. And like Peter, 
we are also Satan's prize. I continually ask Jesus to pray for me like he prayed for Simon Peter, for he is no respecter of persons, that my faith does not fail me during these difficult times. And I share this prayer with you, and I encourage you to share it with others also and strengthen the brethren. It will definitely be a blessing to them and you. Tip number three, Psalm 91 is the prayer of safety. So read it and memorize it. Get it into your heart. I substitute my name and my 36-year-old daughter's name when reciting the prayer. I say, for example, he covers me and Lindsay with his feathers and under his wings we take refuge. A thousand may fall at me and Lindsay's side, 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Dedicate your young children to the Lord, especially now and as they head back to school. Put them in the palm of God's hand. Dedicate your older children also. Doesn't matter how old they are. They are still your children. My daughter was 30 when I dedicated her to Christ. Tip number four. God is a God of balance. Balance the spiritual with the natural. In the spiritual, continue to trust God that you are covered by his blood. And in the natural, change the way you think about food. Eat healthier. Boost your immune system. Leave alcohol alone. Reduce your sugar intake as it has been shown that cancer craves sugar. Eat more whole foods, fruits, and vegetables. Fish like salmon and sardines are inexpensive and a great source for omega-3s. And stop drinking soda, including diet and especially Coke and Pepsi. If you put these sodas on car battery cables to remove rust and corrosion, imagine what it is doing to your stomach. And soda is the number one cause of type 2 diabetes, obesity, and tooth decay. We are a nation of excess. Obesity, diabetes, heart problems, and high blood pressure, and people with these health issues have a low COVID-19 recovery rate. I'm going to put my website in the comments below, jtblove.com. I have videos, websites of the watchmen I listen to, health tips, and you can even sign up to join our bi-weekly Bible study. I hope it will encourage you and keep you lifted up. There is nothing more important than putting Jesus first and taking better care of yourself. Folks, I will be 68 years old this year, and the hospital is the last place I want to go. I am staying under the grid. Many people are not coming out alive, and while there are no visitors are allowed, no pastor allowed, and you're alone in a world system that 2 Corinthians 4, 4 says, Satan, the God of this world, is in control of. Tip number five, meditate on his word daily. Focus on what Jesus says and not the world. The Bible says to study, to show yourself approved. Know Jesus for yourself. Everybody is a thus saith the Lord prophet today. Jesus already told us what's happening next. You have the Holy Spirit dwelling within you, so do not quench the Holy Spirit. He is always talking to us through his word and his still, small voice. Be quiet. Get alone with God and spend time with him so you can hear his voice. He always warns first. More is coming. The Bible says so. So strengthen your faith and keep looking up. Know his word and preach the word, and be a light, and make disciples. Ephesians 6, at verse 10 and 11 reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. As always, before I end the video, I would like to give anyone listening who does not know Jesus the opportunity to make him the Lord of your life. Or if you have walked away from God and want to rededicate your life, today is the day of salvation. If you are sick, depressed, feeling hopeless, and want peace and hope in your life, I invite you to open your heart and receive the Prince of Peace, Jesus the Christ. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. I ask you, dear Jesus, to come into my heart, be my Lord, and my Savior. 
Cleanse me, fill me, change me. Let me never be the same again. And right now, by faith and the shed blood of Jesus, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Welcome to the family of God. If you said that prayer, pray and ask Jesus to lead you to a church that is preaching the truth of his word, his whole counsel. And in the meantime, download a Bible app. I like the New King James Version. Get yourself a Bible so you can mark it up. Highlight scriptures right in the margins as you get excited learning the word of God. God bless everybody listening. And if this video was a blessing to you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to click the notif notification bell so that you may be notified of future teachings. And remember, a Bible falling apart, <laughs> like this one, belongs to somebody who is not. Thank you, and you have a blessed day.